this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on Scrap Mechanic. And uh, I'm starting to get there. I'm starting to, to learn the game a little bit better. In the, the last episode, um, I built this beautiful flying contraption, which can go up, and it can go down, and it can kind of lean a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. Um, it was a bit of a learning process. Yeah, it was a bit of a learning process building this thing. And the main thing I learned is that I am not ready to build contraptions as advanced as this. I, I think I jumped in a little bit too much to the deep end and tried to build like some sort of rocket plane thing. And I'm not ready yet. But what I think I might be ready to do uh, is to do some sort of cable car. I think that it will be relatively simple. So uh, what I basically want to do is kind of have like an engine uh, that's going to be going along like a rail and then I can sit underneath it somewhere uh, to carry me from somewhere to somewhere else. I'm not sure where. I might do it from like one tree to another tree or like maybe from this building to somewhere else. But I guess I can build like as many tracks as I want uh, in as many places. But the main thing is getting kind of the, the engine part done. So uh, let's see if I can go and try and get that done. So I think it should be... And I might regret saying this. <laughs> I think it should be uh, relatively simple. So let's get going. I decided uh, I'm going to build it out of tiles uh, because tiles are, uh, they're like medium weight. And I don't want it to be too light because I don't want it to be like swinging all over the place. Uh, but I also don't want it to be too heavy uh, because I think if it's too heavy, uh, then it's just going to go really slowly. Because it'd be good uh, to only have uh, one engine on this. So uh, the way this part's going to work, and this is going to be uh, the part powering it, is if I put like a uh, a wheel on here and then do another wheel uh, underneath it there and then like the, the rail will kind of go in between them. So as those wheels turn, it should power like this entire thing along. So that's what the uh, that's what the, the plan is. I just need to work out uh, how to, to power it. So I was thinking of just using like a, an electric engine uh, because the electric ones, they're not as fast as the um, the petrol ones, uh, but they are um, uh, they are very powerful. And so I think we want something powerful to move this entire thing on. Uh, but we're not really going for speed here. Because I think uh, if it goes too fast, it's going to start not being very stable. But the only thing is I don't know uh, how I can set it to, to change direction. So I guess we're, we, we'll get to that hurdle when we, uh, when we get there. So uh, this is kind of this section done, I guess. Let's just fill uh, this bit in here as well. Uh, but we do need to do is uh, add in the, the engine. So I guess it would make sense uh, to have the, uh, the engine of t on top of it somehow. So if I build this just kind of right next to my um uh, my truck uh, then that way I can kind of just jump on the the truck and I can build the uh, the top uh, from up there I guess so can I just jump up here can I get on top of this there we go <laughs> this is a, a nice easy way to, to go and build it uh, up here so uh, this is the the electric engine I've already got one here and uh, let's go and place this down here and then if I link this up to the the wheels uh, hopefully uh, if I uh, turn it on uh, they're going to start spinning so let's give it a test so uh, they're both turning in the right direction something very important. <laughs> so let's just go and switch this on and uh, let's see um let's see if anything happens. Oh, there we go. It's turning. The wheels are turning. I think this is like the main part of it done. That is absolute record timing. So before I go anywhere further, let me go and actually test this on an actual track and make sure uh, make sure this section of it works. And then I can go and uh, try and work out a way how we can like uh, uh, make it go in both directions uh, as well as uh, adding like a, a nice little uh, seating area down below. So I guess I can just build it in here for now. Uh, let's build it out of a different material. Let's use, um, uh, let's use, let's just use metal, I guess would be a nice easy thing to use. So if I just make a, a track, uh, which is going to be tall enough here, and then I just need to, to find a way uh, to slip it in. And actually, I think I should probably uh, have this uh, in position first. So if I place this uh, here, and then if I just make it go a little bit higher, uh, all I need to do uh, is make it so what I'm building now uh, goes through uh, that gap. So is this going to, to line up? Oh, I think I might have lined it up uh, perfectly already there. Can I... Is this going to go straight through the, the middle? Oh, no. Oh, it's slightly um slightly too high, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. So I need to do this, uh, but just one lower uh, than it is at the, the moment. So, oh, no. <laughs> I, I always place things uh, rather than destroying them for some reason. I thought uh, that I would have got used to it by now, uh, but apparently I haven't. So let's go and uh, do this one lower. And if I go along to here and then go along a little bit further to here. Uh, there we go. Uh, that goes exactly through the, the middle. Let's go all the way along to the end here. And then let's just build down. Down at the the end so it doesn't just go flying off the the other end so now if i get rid of this uh, you can see that it's kind of just stayed there hanging and oh it's leaning 
it's leaning a little bit and that's because the engine isn't exactly in the the middle so i guess if i if i built out a little bit further on this side i can try and balance it up and all oh, that didn't make a big difference let's try doing that with metal i'm not worrying uh, for now too much about what this thing looks like i just kind of want to balance it out and now if i hit it with the the hammer is that gonna Oh, now it's leaning too far the other side. Uh, actually, that's that's pretty that's pretty equal. Maybe if I get rid of uh, one of them in the the middle, uh, I think that's pretty balanced. Uh, so now let's uh, let's turn it on. Let's turn it on slowly for now. And oh look, oh it's trying to go. Oh, it's going, but it's going very slowly. Let's put the uh, the power up a little bit higher. And oh, it's a. Uh, <laughs> It's a little bit wobbly. Let's get rid of these metal blocks. Are they making it wobbly, maybe? And I've just got rid of another block there. And oh no, oh no, I put in the, the wrong block. Let, let's turn this off for now. It's kind of working. It was almost there. <laughs> it just wasn't the um, it wasn't the most stable thing in the, the world, was it? Let's break away those blocks and let's break away uh, the, oh no, not that, that. I want to get rid of the, the engine. I want to get rid of you and I want to get rid of you as well. Now let's try that again. Uh, but I also uh, need to change the uh, the direction uh, that the, the wheels turn in uh, to make it go the other way. So this is what I want to, to do uh, kind of automatically eventually. And oh, it's, it's kind of going. There we go. Here it goes. Let's uh, do the power up a little. Oh, so once the power goes up too high, uh, that's when it starts going wrong. So what's what's going wrong here? I don't know what's making it muck up. It seems just to be leaning too far forward. I don't know if, if we add something underneath to maybe help balance it out. That might actually make it go better. So if I kind of add this here and then something similar on the, the other side, is this going to kind of help balance it out a little bit more? It just seems that like whatever direction it's going in, it kind of leans in that direction too much. And uh, that kind of makes it muck up. I think especially going in the uh, the direction it's going in now, because uh, that's the uh, the side uh, that the uh, the engine's on. But just because the, uh, the shape of the engine is kind of hard to do anything difficult. And oh, no, actually... Do the, I think the, maybe the wheels were going the wrong way. Do they need to both be turning the same way? I don't, th I think they don't. I think I need to do it. And so the wheels are turning in different directions. That was the problem. Here we go. That's what, because if they're turning the same direction, it's just going to be like kind of spinning on itself. But there we go. Now it's working. Now we're talking. <laughs> right, there we go. So this part is working pretty beautifully. Let's see, um, let's see how fast I can uh, make it go before it starts breaking. So let's change uh, both of them around. Uh, so no, no, I need to change that one around as well. And there we go. Whoa. <laughs> It's not the most elegant thing in the world, but it was working. It was definitely working. So maybe we shouldn't go quite at that speed. But uh, overall, uh, this is uh, this is looking uh, pretty good. So now uh, what we want to do is that we want to go and uh, destroy this bottom bit. Because I don't think this bottom bit was really needed. I think it was me just getting the uh, the tyres turning in the, the right direction, uh, which is uh, what got the, uh, it sorted out. So uh, what we want to do now uh, is build kind of like the, the underside of it. So let's go and uh, take it off the, uh, the track. Uh, like this and I want to build like the underneath of it so the way to do that would be as if I just build out uh, in any direction here and then that way when I put the, it, um, it back on the the tower the lift thing uh, then that uh, will make it so that the the lift kind of isn't in either way uh, and I can go and uh, start building the uh, the underneath so I don't want it to be weighing too much uh, so let's build the uh, the underneath section out of wood shall we so if I kind of go and um, let's break away a few of those blocks here and if I kind of go uh, out like this in a, in a few directions and then go down. I'm basically just going to make a, a small room and then I can just put a, a seat in it and then that way I can sit down and enjoy the uh, the ride as I, as I go around. So let's build uh, down now a, a couple and I'm just trying to make this look cool to be honest. I want it to be uh, pretty well balanced uh, but apart from that I just want this to, to look like a, a nice room uh, for me to hang out in. So I can move this up even higher like this and uh, now I'm just going to add in a, a ceiling here if I kind of build out like uh, this to here. And then do the uh, the same in this direction. I'm not going to worry about uh, making it exact now because once I've done most of it, I can go and try and uh, add in the uh, the rest of the the detail and uh, make it a nice shape. So it's going to be uh, mainly for for one person to to travel in. Uh, so is this uh, a good size? Uh, let me just make sure it's equal. I think there's two blocks uh, from either side, so it's slightly uh, too big on this side here. But I think this is okay. I think this is going to be uh, big enough of a, a room. I just don't want it to to get too heavy. Is my only worry. So let's build. Uh, 
down like this on uh, all of the, the other sides. And uh, then I'm just going to cut out some bits uh, for a, a window and uh, a door as well. I guess I can just leave uh, an opening uh, so I'll be able to, to get uh, in and out of it. So let's go and build down here as well. And then I just need to do the uh, the final bit here. And then this is going to be my room. And oh, I need to add uh, a floor in as well because <laughs> otherwise I might just fall down the, the bottom. So uh, let's go and uh, do an opening. Uh, I can have a, a doorway here. And oh, Oh no, I just, I just built on here, I rather than getting rid of it. I still keep doing that. I still keep just, uh, uh, yeah, just um, uh, placing blocks rather than destroying them. So let's go and uh, get rid of uh, this section here. And then I just want to cut out uh, a section there. So here we go. Here's my doorway. And uh, here uh, can be my floor uh, down here. So there we go. This is the this is the room I'm going to be traveling in. I want to uh, break out some windows uh, on the uh, the sides as well. I've got some little tiny windows. <laughs> so I can go and uh, admire the uh, the view uh, as I'm going uh, around the area. So let's go and break out another window there like that. And I think this window needs to be slightly bigger there like that. So there we go. Uh, this is the, uh, the room I'm going to be traveling in. I think I'm going to build it up a little bit more here because I feel um I feel like a little bit scared when I'm just standing here that I'm going to, to fall out. But I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> right then, shall I shall I take this out and just give it a go as it is? So at the moment, uh, I can't really change direction properly. I haven't worked that bit out, but I'm just too impatient and I just want to see uh, whether I can make this go anywhere. So I guess I need to build a, uh, a track from somewhere uh, to somewhere else. And I want it uh, to be relatively high up. Let's see if I can do it uh, going from uh, one of these trees uh, to one of the, the other trees. That would be quite cool. Unless I could do it from that tower. What about if I do it from that tower here... Uh, all the way uh, to this big water tower uh, on this side somehow would that would that be cool I think that might be a, a nice uh, a nice way to, to do it so uh, let's go here and uh, how tall uh, is this lift going to, to be able to lift me up I kind of wish uh, uh, the lifts kind of lifted you up endlessly uh, so for things like this I could go and get really uh, uh, high up and actually I don't know whether it's um I don't know if it's going to line up properly building it between them. I might, for now, uh, just do kind of another bigger tester track uh, on the, the outside uh, just to make sure that the uh, the entire thing's going to, to work properly. So let's go and uh, build this up here. Uh, but I definitely need to go higher than this uh, because... Um, uh, yeah, because I've got the, the big room uh, on the, the underneath now, uh, I need to, to make sure that works. And I actually think... It's going to be quite easy to make it change direction. Because uh, if I link a switch up to the bearings, like to both of them, uh, hopefully I can just set it uh, so they both just go in like different directions. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. So let's go and build this out a little bit here. Uh, but as I said, I need to kind of uh, add the um, uh, the cable car in uh, before I kind of link it all up uh, so it fits in between them. So here it is. It doesn't it doesn't look particularly nice, but <laughs> hopefully it's going to, to do the, the job. So let's go and uh, place this down uh, in the uh, the middle here. I think it needs to be around about there. Uh, does that line up right with what I've done before? Uh, let's go into. It's kind of hard to, to see. I want to I want to be able to to maybe build like a, a staircase uh, so I can get up uh, on top of that. So if I go and grab uh, some of these ramps. And then that way I can just go and uh, run up these ramps uh, in order to, to get up to the, the higher level. Can I just add another uh, ramp there? Uh, let's just go and add this here. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the uh, the lift uh, because I want to leave the uh, the lift there uh, so I can try and line up with the, the next thing. So can I add another ramp there? Okay, I'm not doing this very elegantly, but it, it's kind of working. <laughs> I'm kind of building a, a bit of a staircase. This obviously won't be here forever. This is just uh, so I can actually uh, get on top and uh, see what it is uh, that, I, that I need to, to do because I really need to, to make sure uh, that it's lined up absolutely perfectly here because uh, there's only like a one block gap uh, that it would be uh, able to, to fit in. So let's go and place this on here and then let's just try and keep doing this uh, until I can get up to, to where I need to, to go. I'm sure there's a, a much easier way of doing this but for now <laughs> I don't know so I'm just going to do this. Actually I think if I kind of just build uh, up like this and then I can kind of go uh, across and then build up again. And uh, then I can kind of just do a, a tiny little staircase for now. And then I should be able to, to just go and uh, jump up this. I think that might be uh, able to, to, to work. Uh, I kind of just really need to, to see uh, whether it's uh, it's lined up or not. So let's go and uh, jump up here. And if I now go and uh, build uh, across uh, to what I uh, have already built before... 
uh, I should be able to to see uh, how uh, lined up it is because as long as it's um like as long as it's left and right like okay uh, the height doesn't matter too much because I can just uh, adjust that uh, using my lift so let me go and uh, uh, jump uh, on top of this let me build this here so I don't accidentally fall off I'm just making a parkour challenge for myself here ah! and oh look it is it's perfectly lined up so what I need to do is let's build let's build the uh, this bit uh, along uh, even further and then uh, I can go and uh, adjust the uh, the height because uh, I'll be able to, to easily see uh, how lined up it is. So it definitely needs to go uh, a little bit higher. Uh, so let's go and uh, move the uh, the lift up a little bit. And oh, it's not letting me... Oh, I, I, oh, can I not make the lift go higher? Oh, I don't think I can make the lift go any higher. Okay, this is okay though because all I need to do is make it so this bar uh, comes out from a, a little bit lower. So I think it should be about here. Is that going to, to line up correctly? I think it was uh, about two uh, underneath the, the other one. So is this going to make it through the middle? There we go. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I've made an absolute massive mess here <laughs> building that uh, monstrosity. Uh, but this is working. So let's build uh, this along to here. And then let's go and uh, build this uh, further along. I want to go quite far along. So I want to go for a little bit of a, a ride. So let's just keep uh, building this uh, along here. Making sure it lines up perfectly. It can't go any wider. Because uh, I've Otherwise, the, uh, the entire thing uh, is going to, to get stuck. So let's go and uh, build this a little bit further here. And then I think I'll go one more uh, stretch along. And then I'm just going to go and build down a, a little bit uh, just to, to block it off at the, the end so I don't go and just slide off the, the end there. So this should hopefully uh, be pretty much uh, all working. Now, I know, where's my... I seem to have lost my my floor. <laughs> I seem to have lost the uh, the floor of my room here. Let's see if I can go and uh, add this back in and whether it's going to to stay in place. I want to make sure it lines up perfectly. There we go. I now have my uh, my floor again. Uh, I need to uh, make a, a little bit of a, a ramp here uh, so I can actually uh, get into it. I guess I can just add a, a block like this uh, so I can jump up and then I can jump in. And oh no, there's a, a gap in the, the floor down here as well. Uh, so let's go and line that up. And so yeah, this is the, the problem now. <laughs> if I need to, to have a way uh, to turn the engine on. Can I reach it from here? There we go. I can reach it from there and uh, turn it on. And there we go, look. The whole thing is moving along. So it's moving along in that direction at the, the moment. Uh, but there's the... um these bars above it uh, which are getting in the the way uh, so let's get rid of these and then it's going to move all the way along to the end here and look at that that is beautiful that's it that that makes me so happy <laughs> to see that working like that there so now let's see if i can do it uh, so i can change the uh, the direction so if i uh, add a a switch uh, just somewhere in here if i link this switch up to the um uh, up to the bearings hopefully it's going to allow me uh, to change their direction so let's see uh let's see whether that works and oh it's not allowing me to to link them up for some reason are they too far away maybe maybe i could maybe if i need to do the uh, the switch uh, like higher up on the the ceiling maybe uh, let's add the the switch in there and let's see if i can go and use this uh, to change the other uh, direction oh it's, they're not linking up for some reason because what i really need to be able to do is to i want to press a button which will turn the engine on and change direction i guess all in one so can i at least link this up to the the engine uh let me see if i can i don't think it's letting me i don't know if i'm just too far away maybe let me go and uh, try and build uh, up again uh, so i can actually get inside and actually i can use a, a lift now seeing as a uh, i'm not using the uh, the lift on the um uh, the cable car itself i can use uh, a lift and go and try and jump uh, inside of this thing it's a little bit wonky at the moment isn't it <laughs> uh, so let's go and uh, grab this and uh, link this up to the engine oh there we go i could link it up to the engine so i think this might be uh, able to turn the uh, the power uh, on and off at least uh, but I don't know how to change direction uh, other than just clicking on them. So for now, uh, let's just uh, click on them both. And uh, hopefully this is going to allow me uh, to move in the, the other direction. Uh, so let's turn the engine on now. And oh, here we go. We are moving off. Look at that. I am moving in my very own cable car. I'm moving very slowly. <laughs> so let's see if I can go and uh, make the um, uh, the engine go a little bit faster. Oh, no, I can't make the engine go faster uh, while I'm on the, the inside. So let's go and uh, jump out for a, a second. And uh, let's go and just turn the... Let's just turn the power up just a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. But look at that. It's going along. Can I jump inside of it? Come on, let me jump in. I want to be able to ride in it. <laughs> uh, let's just go and add a, a little lift in for a second then. And if I jump on the, the lift and... Oh, no, I need to lift it up. And I need to jump in. There we go. That was like an action movie there. <laughs> and here I am riding along in my, my little cable car. This is working surprisingly well. So the only real problem left 
uh, has been able to, to work out the uh, the controls properly. Uh, so then I can actually go and uh, uh, kind of control the speed and turn it on and off and change direction uh, while I'm actually inside of it. But, you know, as a, a first attempt, I am pretty happy with that. So I don't want to spend uh, too much time on it now uh, since as a, I've pretty much got it ready. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that in between this episode and the, the next episode, is I'm going to try and work out the uh, the controls and uh, maybe build a, a bigger track. And then at the, the start of the, the next episode, I can go for a little bit of a, a ride around my world, which will be jolly good fun. But there we go. I am proud of my small progress. <laughs> oh dear, but sadly, uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. As always, uh, I'll be leaving a, a link in the, uh, the description to the, the next episode as soon as uh, I've uploaded it. And it's possibly there already, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!